Hey, my name is Jesus Castello, and in this video, you're going to learn how to use the set data structure in Ruby. So what is a set? A set is a kind of data structure that allows you to have unique elements. Let me show you an example. With an array, if we create an array, you can have repeated elements. So you can put one and you can put one again and then you have two ones, right? As we can see right now, there we go. Have two ones in our array. But if we change this into a set, we can do set on new. Now we have the one only once. It's not repeated. So that's one of the special properties of the set. You can replace it by an array if you need, if you need unique elements. Another thing about sets is that you can't access them by index. So if I do this, we get no method error. So in this case, you will use an array. But the good thing, the good news is that you can convert a set into an array like this to A, or you can do like this. There is two ways to do this. You can do it like that or like this. These two give you the set converted into an array. And then you can use regular array methods like indexing to get a specific element. So why would you want to use this? Well, the main uses is to use the unique property of this. Let's say you're collecting, collecting some values. You're going over a list of characters, for example, and you only want to get the unique characters, or you're going to over some kind of object, array of objects, and you want to collect the uh, unique objects. One way to do that will be to use a set because the set will guarantee you that it will always be unique. The elements of the set are always unique. Another use for the set is to use its include method. So if I do a, which is our set, include question mark two, because we get false. And if I do, whoops, um, if I do one, we will get true, right? There we go. Yes, you can do this with arrays, but when you do this with a set, it will be a lot faster because this is a constant time operation. But if you have an array, if this is an array, you have an array of numbers, I imagine you have a very big array and you want to find an item inside the array, then when you, what you have to do is to do a linear search. It's called a linear search because you have to go over every single element in the array and compare it with the value that you're looking for, right? And you have to do it through the length of the array. So if you have an array that's 1 million items, you will have to look through 1 million items every time that you call include, because that's what include does in an array. It looks through every single element doing a linear search. Unless you have only numbers and they are sorted, then you can do binary search but that's another thing. Usually your elements won't always be sorted. So if you want very fast lockup, constant time lockup, that means that it will be no looping, no searching. It will note exactly the set notes exactly where to find this value. Then the set might be better than the array if that's what you want to do. That's the set data structure, I find it very useful. If you are doing things like this, you are working with unique 
items, unique list of items, or if you are want to take that list and find items in that list very fast, then that's a case for using a set. And of course, you can always convert the set back into an array if you need to. That's the set data structure. Hope you found that useful and interesting. If you did, please give me a like so I know that you like this video. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.